first I will give you a shot from the top looking down into the hopper and the burning chamber. This is looking from the top down into the chamber where it is um, tapered to assist the chips to go down into the round area which is your burning stack. The handle in the center is a shaker which can be used to disturb the wood to help uh, break up any bridging and to move the charcoal and the ash from the bottom to continue to burn which needs to be done periodically with a unit that is standing still versus one that's mounted on a vehicle of some type. Uh, coming out the back is your main tubes which go into the one cooling chamber which is cooler number one which is run horizontally. Uh, at that point it exits out the other side and comes into the bottom of the second cooler uh, to help reduce temperature of the gases. Uh, at that point it goes into that filter stack that I mentioned earlier and uh, to try to remove some of the tars and the particulates from the fumes and any condensation it forms hopefully to catch it there and drop it into the condensation tank down below. Uh, continuing on, uh, when you first start the burn, uh, you're going to run this blower that's on top to create a draft to get the fire burning and the smoke will come out the top uh, port above um, this valve up here and in normally 15 to 20 minutes you should be able to ignite that fumes and if they stay lit uh, you're ready to actually start your engine and uh, let it run off of the fumes switch over onto the, the wood uh, fumes. Um, we have had success with this lighting in as quick as 10 minutes but uh, we'll see how this demonstration goes today. Okay as you can see now we've partially loaded the hopper with the wood that I had in the bucket filling the stack down to the burn chamber. At this point I'm going to remove the igniter port um, exposing the wood chips inside. At this point we're ready to turn on the blower. Uh, the main valve underneath is in the on position straight up and down and the exhaust port on top of the blower is straight up and down. I'll turn on the blower which is connected to the main battery on the generator which will start a draft and then I will start to ignite the, the wood.
Okay, from here, it'd take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes for the burner to get up to temperature and the coals will start really glowing. And uh, Okay, it took about 10 minutes for that to come up to temperature and start ginning. You can see that flame. I put a cap on the end of the pipe to act as a diffuser and in about 10 minutes there was enough heat generated to give us combustible fumes. At this point, it's actually ready to switch over because it's staying lit to hook onto an engine and burn. And I switched the fan to low, and I'm going to point out one or two more things to you. Hold on. Things that I uh, didn't mention in the beginning, when you light up, you want to make sure that these valves are closed. These are your drain lines uh, to allow water out after the run. And if you don't have those closed, it can actually pull oxygen back into the system and dilute your, your gas. Do a demonstration to show you um, how easy it'll be to light. I'm going to shut off the flame. I'm going to bring the gas back out and I'm gonna ignite it with a spark. Turn it down. You can see it's burning. So if it's combustible enough that a spark will set it off, then there's no problem with your engine running. I'll let it run for a while until it gets a little darker. You can see the contrast of the flame. 